solid liquids and gases. Forms of matter. There are three forms of matter that is solid, liquid and gas. States of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Everything that can be categorized into three states of matter. Matter can change its state when it experiences a change in temperature and or, or pressure. Solid, liquid and gas. Let's differentiate between these three. Solid has a definite shape and volume. A liquid has a definite volume but not a definite shape. For example, water. It has a definite volume, but it takes up the shape of any container you pour it in. Gas. A gas doesn't have a definite volume or shape. Please remember this process. A solid starts melting to form liquid. A liquid vaporizes into gas and gas ionizes to form plasma. What is plasma? Plasma is the fourth state of matter after solid, liquid and gas. It is a superheated ionized gas that makes up most of the visible universe. This is a small general knowledge. Plasma is formed when a gas is heated to such high temperatures that its electrons escape from the atoms, creating a mixture of positive and negative charged particles. Let's learn the differences between solid, liquid and gas. Solid, for example, an ice cube is rigid. It has a fixed shape that's of a cube fixed volume and also cannot be squashed. Liquid. It's not rigid. For example, water. It has no fixed shape. You can pour water into any container. It has a fixed volume and cannot be squashed. You cannot squash water. Now talking about gas, it's not rigid. Do you think the air around us is rigid? No, it's not. No fixed shape. It also does not have a fixed volume and it can be squashed. It means it can be compressed. Particle arrangement in phases of matter. You can see the particle arrangements in solids, liquids and gases. Solids. The particle arrangement in solids is shown over here. The particles are tightly packed. It has a fixed arrangement, cannot move and the particles only vibrate. Liquids. The particles in the liquids are loosely packed. Particles are close to each other and no distinct arrangements. Particles slide around each other in liquids. In gases, particles are far apart. Particles diffuse in the air. And these particles move quickly in all directions. Now here are a few questions that you can try answering. The first one is, what are the three states of matter? Second, which state of matter can be compressed? That means squashed easily. Which state of matter cannot be poured? List the properties of solids. Fifth one is name a property of liquids that do not share with solids. It means a difference between solid and liquid. Name a property of gases that they share with liquids. It means a similarity between liquids and gases. Name a property of gases that they do not share with solids or liquids. Air. Air is a mixture of different gases. A gas called nitrogen makes up about four-fifths of the air. Air also contains a gas called oxygen. We need oxygen to survive. We breathe in oxygen. We breathe out a gas called carbon dioxide. 
which is also found in air. Air also contains a gas called water vapor. The layer of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. There are many other gases that are not found in air, for example, hydrogen and helium. Now let's learn about air pollution. It is also important for us to have clean air to breathe. In many places in the world, the air is not clean. People smoke, the dust and gases from factories, power stations, cars, trucks, airplanes, all these gases go into the air. These substances make the air dirty and harmful to living things. We say that they cause air pollution. It means the air is polluted. Air pollution is not only outside. Homes, schools and buildings can also have air pollution. Many things that people use every day can pollute the air. Smoke from cigarettes and cooking and fumes from spray cans and points also pollute the air. Air pollution can make us cough, feel dizzy and give us headaches. People who breathe in polluted air also often suffer from breathing problems such as asthma. The smoke from cigarettes also form serious diseases that harm our lungs.